And when did you decide then to well go well, like, go forward as a be two before piece? like before we were before the band split up, like after gigs we would just go and DJ and all that kind of stuff. And so we we didn't really think about it. Like we I think like immediately afterwards we you know, we just went right, kind of disappear off and then we kinda of got a call like, Do you wanna come and DJ? Yeah, go on, let's go, you know, it'll be fun. And so we do that a few times, then we did a couple of remixes, and it just really built up really slowly, because, you know, really it was just, for us it was like a side, like an electronic side project. It was just a way for us to kind of, you know, we both wanted to make electronic music, and we both kind of wanted to experiment, you know, with studio techniques and stuff like that. But we were just doing it for a laugh. We didn't really think that it was going to go forward. And we were really just making the tunes as well to, to play out as DJs, you know? They were like, they, they were just things that we would think would work on a dance floor you know and and that's literally how how the whole thing came together and it was only you know obviously we got a, like a bit of a, a kick up the arse from the from the we are your friends thing doing so well um and you know obviously our, some of our remixes start to do really well as well and and it just kind of got to a point where we thought well maybe we should actually put all this stuff together into an album really but that point was only you know towards the end of last year or the beginning of this year really but you already had a name uh, when you still were in Simeon. Yeah. 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 But it was like a, a comedy name. It was like yeah. a joke, you know, like a mobile disco. The connotation in England is like two sort of guys who go and play weddings and bar mitzvahs and, you know, and, and it was like Simeon's mobile disco, you know, it, that's yeah. what it was, you know. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> the joke, you know, <laughs> the joke wore off really quickly. And, but because, you know, it was only like, moderately recently that we decided that this was actually going to be something we were going to do more full time by that point it was already too late to change the name because we'd already built up you know a kind of reputation as DJs and as remixes so. but do you get well do you get mixed up often I mean it's confusing yeah so some, some people some people do I mean I think less so now like m most people kind of found out about us I think through kind of us doing remixes and stuff like that you know there's kind of your kind of I guess because you know, Simeon wasn't it wasn't a very famous band. It was it was still very underground. So. No, but you were you won the video at the MTV Europe. Yeah, true. But that was much later. But we didn't really win that anyway. Yeah, you know. yeah, but it was it was for your song. Yeah, yeah true. Um, but that was all. You know, Simeon was well dead by then. Simeon didn't be dead by for two years by that point. You know, so really, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Like some some people, most people, I think, know us really from from DJing and and from, from remixing and I suppose maybe via We Are Your Friends but you know now and again we'll find people who who recognise us from Simeon and they were Simi you know, Simeon fans but that's quite rare almost you know. What do the other people, uh, I mean the other two, think of your music now? <laughs> um, do you know? Well S Simon Lord who was the singer sings on I Believe which is a track on the record and, and he, he also does like other electronic stuff and some, some kind of folky you know, psychedelic sort of stuff. Um, so, you know, he, he's, he's cool with it. And, and Alex is still a good friend of ours, you know, yeah. and we see him around quite a lot. And he's now a promoter and he books us for DJ gigs, you know, so. Yeah, yeah that's good. Um, yeah, what is, oh, well, you, you were saying you, you did remixes. Um, what was, the, for you, the most fun remix to make? Because you did the ball, a certain, there's always there's always been a real time pressure uh, aspect to to remixing because you know we were doing it like on evenings and weekends and and so generally we'd always do them very quickly so you know I wouldn't you know there, I suppose there were there were the quite intense periods of time really of like trying to get everything done you know? 